Well, we became interested in um, in a particular gene called lamin A, and, and this is a gene that's involved in um, in the formation of the nuclear um, membrane. And this is actually mutated in the context of a disease called progeria, which is sort of this accelerated aging disease. And we had been thinking about using the progerin model to try to drive accelerated aging in the context of our stem cell models. And we were wondering whether this was potentially also involved in Alzheimer's disease pathogenesis. Um, and we were sort of looking into those um, potential pathways because we knew that um, in the context of the pathology of the AD brains that it's been described that there are these sort of blebbing or raisin-like um, nuclei that can be identified. And that's the same phenotype that's seen in the progeria patients. And um, in progeria, you have this sort of misprocessing of the lamin A gene that leads to abnormal accumulation of the, um, the prelamin A into the nuclear envelope. And what we found is that while we couldn't identify mutations that would cause progeria in the AD patients, what we did find were, um, were changes in the enzymes and in the, um, the substrates that are involved in laminate processing that could mimic some of those effects. And we went on to show that not only the proximal genes and enzymes are involved, but also networks involved in nuclear, um, nuclear cytoskeleton um, regulation were also dysregulated in AD brains. And I think this supports sort of a potential, this supports a potential um, role of the of lamin A and other nuclear um, proteins in Alzheimer's disease, as well as supports our efforts to, to begin to look at the impact of progeria and, and lamin A as a method to drive accelerated aging in our IPS-derived neuronal cultures.